What do you think of when you hear the word economics? Maybe you're thinking about banks and businesses, or Wall Street and stocks, or budgets and deficits. And sure, the field of economics has something to say about all of these, but economics is so much more than that. Economics gives us a powerful set of tools to explain why the world around us is the way it is. For instance, why does 7-Eleven charge 99 cents for a small soda and only 10 cents more for a big gulp that's double the size? Why do most airlines today charge for checked luggage when none of them did so 30 years ago? Why does the ride-sharing company Uber charge more for a ride when it's raining? And the lessons of economics can help inform our own personal decisions. For instance, should you resell your concert tickets for less than you originally bought them for? Should you spend tonight studying for an exam or catching up on other homework? Should you go to college, even with tuition prices as high as they are? At its core, economics is a study of human behavior and interactions. It explores how each of us makes decisions, from the trivial everyday ones to the once in a lifetime monumental ones. It can shed light on some of the most important issues of our day, unemployment and poverty, healthcare and life-saving medication, climate change and environmental regulation. In this course, we'll analyze individuals' decisions about what to buy and how much to work. We'll also look at firms' decisions about how many workers to hire and what prices to charge. Then we'll explore ways to evaluate economic outcomes from the perspectives of both efficiency and fairness. Each unit of this course will begin with a short video that introduces a new topic and uses the tools of microeconomics to explore it. Most units will also feature application videos that take the economics out of the textbook and apply it to the real world. For instance, we'll consider why LeBron James didn't go to college, why IBM once invested money to make its printers slower, and why a copy of The Great Gatsby costs so much more than a copy of Huckleberry Finn. Many units will also contain videos that dig deeper to the graphical and mathematical explanations of the economics behind these examples. And throughout the course, you'll find interactive practice problems to help you check your grasp of the material. This course has been approved by the College Board as covering all the material that's required for the Advanced Placement Exam in Microeconomics, and will help you study for that test. But it's also open to anyone looking for an introduction to the way economists think about the world. Together, we'll uncover how economics can be used to better understand the choices we make and how these choices shape the world around us. See you in class.